Hey everyone, how's it going? If you haven't seen my smart home video detailing all of this, go and check that out. But I've been getting a lot of great comments and I've been very active in responding to your guys' questions. And one of the questions that I get is uh, how much does it cost to run all of this equipment? I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on here, so it must be really expensive to run a smart home setup like this. So we're going to find out in this video. I've got a kilowatt meter. We're going to be measuring the power output of this rack. And then we're going to be calculating a rough estimate, but a pretty good estimate on how much it would cost to power all this. And so let's get started and let's do this. This rack has two main power strips. We've got one up here and one down here. And both of these power strips plug into this brick that we've got in the wall here. So what we're gonna be doing is replacing um, this kilowatt meter. We're gonna plug it into the wall and then plug this brick which contains all of our rack equipment. And we're gonna measure how much kilowatt per hour this rack takes up and we're gonna let it sit for a while and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna compute how much power this rack has been using and then how much it would cost per year to run a setup like this. So let's go ahead and get this re replaced and get it starting to monitor. It's been, I believe, almost exactly 96 hours, maybe 95. I'm gonna go back and make sure I've got it down to the uh, exact number. But in uh, pretty much four days, we're at 21.87 kilowatt hours. Uh, right now we're using uh, 237, 238 watts, roughly. Um, so we're gonna use this number to also verify the number in dollars that we calculate with the kilowatt hours. Um, I have a feeling that most of that wattage is probably coming from the PoE switch. These are powering all 10 cameras. So what I want to do now before I go ahead and pull this device off for good is I'm going to take it off and then I'm going to plug the switch into it so I can see out of the 238 watts that's being generated by the entire rack how much of that is actually the cameras. So. Let's undo that and uh, figure that out. All right, so I plugged the switch in to the kilowatt. The switch is powering all 10 cameras. All 10 cameras are online. And we can see that that switch is using up about 52 watts of power. So that is that is a substantial amount considering the entire rack was 230 something. So 52 of that is just for the cameras. So that, that's a that's a decent number. Um, I'm I'm gonna go ahead and probably monitor some of these other devices, and I'll put these statistics in the description of the video. But I'm not gonna sit here and uh, show that on the video. It'll take too much time up. So if you're interested, check the description. I'll put some more statistics in the description. We're down to what everybody wants to know, and that's what are the final figures in dollars. Let's first figure out how many kilowatt hours are used per day by the entire rack. After exactly 94.333 hours, we consumed 21.88 kilowatt hours. Right after I shut the camera off, um, it rolled over by another tenth, so that's why I'm not using 21.87 as seen in the video. So this equates to 0.23194 kilowatt hours per hour. Um, 
or 5.56664 per day with 365 days in a year that's 2031.8248 kilowatts a year so I'm going to use the national average for how much it costs per kilowatt hour which is 12 cents so you can get a better approximation by using whatever your utility company charges you but I'm going to use the national average so this equates to $243.82 per year or also $20.32 per month. So how do we actually know that this calculation is right? Well there's a, a second method that we can use to calculate this even quicker and this is going to spot check the number that we just calculated. So here's the formula and all we need to know is how many watts we are using which was shown on the kilowatt meter and how many hours a day we're using it for. So in this case the kilowatt was showing 238 watts and we're going to use 24 hours in a day because it's always running. So by doing that, the 238 times 24 times 365 days divided by 1,000 is our total consumption number, which is 2,084.88. Multiply that by 12 cents and we arrive at $250.19. So that quick spot check shows 250 versus 243. So these values agree, they're pretty close together. Uh, the quicker method was a little higher, but um, the using the other method it was a little bit more accurate because it was I was getting four days worth of data so you know there's some fluctuation in there so uh, we verified now that this is a good approximation of what it costs now you also saw that 52 watts was strictly the cameras I would venture to say that at night it's probably gonna be even higher than that because all of the cameras have IR illuminators on them so let's round that up to 60 and even that still might not be enough. But using 60 watts in our quick formula shows that the cameras consume $63 out of the entire $243 a year. So if, if you don't run cameras, or even just a few, not 10 because I'm using 10, your numbers would be even lower. So there you have it. This smart home costs about $20 a month to run in electricity. Of course your usage will vary, but this should be at least a good idea to give you. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you can be notified of when I upload new videos. I've got some other cool ideas coming down the pipe, so I'd like to uh, do, do those here in the near future. I'm going to get ready to build a $1,200 PC probably around November, so stay tuned for those, those kind of videos uh, if you're interested, and I will catch you in the next one. Thanks.